So, today I'm going to show you how to unlock a um, iPhone uh, 3GS new boot ROM using the uh, Red Snow um, jailbreak 6.1.3. So, first thing you want to go is you want to go into Red Snow. Make sure your iPhone is plugged in. Go to extras, select IPSW, and uh, if you're running on 6.1.3, then make sure to install a 6.0 firmware. Yes, because mine's at the newer model. So select yes. Now, want to go back. Go to jailbreak. And uh, by the way, you need to make sure that your iPhone is already jailbroken. So you want to untick install Cydia because you should have already have it installed. And go to install iPad Baseband. Now you need to make sure that the iPad Baseband is compatible. It says here the iPad Baseband is not compatible with iPhone 3GS units manufactured week 34. 2011 or later. Now mine is compatible because it was manufactured the week um, uh, before the week of 34 of 2011 and uh, and uh, you shouldn't proceed if the digits if the third to five digits of your serial number are 135 or later then you shouldn't proceed as your radio will become bricked with no hope of recovery. Now I want to do this, so select yes. Next. Okay, so. One, two, two, top. the on-screen instructions. And just wait for that while Joe breathes. So just flashing bass fan, now make sure not to interrupt this process. Now this is going to take a while. It should take about two, three minutes.
after this process we'll need to downgrade from the iPad basement, uh, which will downgrade it to um, uh, the 15 point, uh, 3.04, I'm not sure, but we'll check it later, which will um, allow you to uh, install Ultra Snow, which will unlock your device. Now this is software unlock. So uh, whenever you restart your phone, um, you'll have to uh, uh, boot it um, uh, using uh, Red Snow before um, you'll get internet ac uh, network access. It's taken a while. <laughs> Just fell. By the way, this is an eight gigabyte model. Sorry about the lighting. It's uh, just getting dark. That's why. Fashion, still flashing basement. Now, what this does is, uh, as I explained before, upgrades it to the uh, iPad baseband of 16.15.0. Uh, it's just rebooted. there yeah so now we need to go back into um, select IPSW go into uh, the uh, firmware select yes go to jailbreak and uh, uncheck install iPad baseband and check downgrade from iPad baseband Select so next. I just want to turn this off. Now this I just want to follow the on screen instructions. Four, three, two. Release the power button, but keep holding the home. And there. Just wait for it to exploit the lime ring. Yep. Uh, 
and do just leave that there. Yeah. So just leave that processing dialer, leave it on just so you uh, know what will happen, and I'll uh, come back when it's finished. Yeah, so it's just flashing the base burn again, which is going to take a lot of time. I'll just wait. Now after this process is finished, um, we'll need to um, boot tether and uh, then the process will be finished. And this is taking a long time. Just wait. It should be pretty straight away after um, the flashing process is finished.
it's rebooted. Rebooting right now. Press is finished. And uh, that's it. It's finished. So now all we need to do is boot tethered. So I'm gonna go back, select the IPSW again, choose the thumb, yes, and go to just boot. I need to turn this on. through the process. Just keep pressing the home button. Yep. Yeah. So it's just exploiting with lime rain. Rebooting, and there's the pineapple logo. Now that it's done, and the rest of the process that will take place on the device will quit out for its now. There's the Apple logo. Yeah. Thanks for uh, watching. This has been TechMate iOS. And uh, please subscribe, rate, and comment. Thanks.